Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today at Top Reddit Post, we're gonna be taking a look at malicious compliance. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notifications button and leave a comment in the end of our video. Restaurant employee amuse himself, delights me and my kids. Posted by u slash mango123456. Yesterday, I decided to take my kids to an international chain restaurant. In this restaurant, the kids' meal comes with ice cream, but you have to serve yourself. That was a problem because there weren't any bowls besides the ice cream machine. So I thought, I know what to do. I'll simply ask an employee for some bowls. And that's just what I did. So he turns to look at the vast array of bowls behind him, some sauce size, some entry salad size, and many in between. And we realized that neither of us know what size the kids' ice cream is intended to be. So he thought, I know what to do, I'll simply ask a manager. Hey boss, what do we put the kids' ice cream in? Without turning around, the boy says, A freaking bowl, what do you think? Yeah, but what size of bowl? The boss, with his inimitable charm, tact and grace, says, Just freaking give him a bowl. The employee looked back at the bowls, and then I saw him get a big grin over his face. I apologize about that, sir. I think it's probably this one. He says as he hand me two of the largest bowls they have in the restaurant, practically giggling with glee. My children were similarly delighted. The manager walked by when we were halfway through and made a noise like a startled opossum, but said, no actual words. Definitely going back there. I demand to be put in a seat that is able to recline. Posted by u slash earthshaker495. A few years ago, I was on a flight from LA to Singapore. Takes 16 plus hours. I'm a tall dude, around 6'3", 109 centimeters, so I don't fit very well in economy class seats. On most airplanes, my knees are often very close or right up against the seat in front of me. This makes it impossible for the person in front of me to recline their seat, which usually isn't a problem. Once the the person in front of me sees how crampled I am in those tiny seats. However, for this particular flight, the man in front of me was not having it. He tried to recline his seat, but couldn't because my legs were there. He turns around, sees what is happening, and asks me something along the lines of, Do you mind letting me put my seat back? I wish I could, but I physically can't. I'll do my best to give you as much space as I can, but it won't be much. At this point, he starts to get angry and just starts pushing as hard as he can back on his seat. Needless to say, this was not particularly pleasant for me. Please stop. I'll stop when I can put my seat back. I decide I'll just wait him out. He'll eventually get tired. After about 10 to 15 minutes of this, he calls a flight attendant over and proceeds to demand a new seat. The flight attendant tells him there are no available seats and he'll have to deal with it. He demands to speak with the pilot. So the flight attendant goes up front to talk to the cockpit. Keep in mind that throughout this, he's still pressing with all his might against against my knees, with only short breaks to yell at the flight attendant. After a couple of minutes, the co-pilot, who wanted to speak to the pilot and wasn't happy about this, comes back and tries to explain to the man that he can't change his seats because there are no other coach seats free. The man continues to demand a seat that is able to recline. Give me an upgrade, this is unacceptable, and making a scene, etc. The co-pilot finally gives in and says while looking at the man, Sir, would you like to sit up in business class? The man stands up and... Freaking finally! Sir, sit down, I wasn't talking to you. He turns to me and... How would you like a seat in business class? I have to this day never seen someone as furious as a man as I walk past him to my new business class seat with free drinks. <laughs> Boss tells a deaf girl to listen to transcribe audio recordings. Okay, no problem. Posted by you slash Coach Lear Cass. I used to work for a telecom company that is one of the major wireless providers in the United States. My position was strictly technical, working in the Network Operations Center, or NOC for short. I had no interaction with customers and any face-to-face -face interaction with co-workers or management was done with the help of my interpreter who I've known for years at this point. Cass, me, interpreter, Sarah, B, boss, C, co-worker. Sarah and I arrive at around 8.45 as usual, and I get clocked in and Sarah clocks in her laptop. I get an email from B to the tone of, come to my office please when you get the chance. Sarah and I head to his office where the following takes place. Ah, uh, glad you're here. Here's a flash drive with some records on it. I need you to listen to this and transcribe them into the CRM under X directory. Sarah and I give each other an odd look. 
Sir, I'm deaf. Sarah's here because I cannot hear and need her to tell me what you say. Yeah, so? So I can't listen to anything without subtitles? Well, have Sarah listen, then tell you what it says and you type it. That's what we pay her for, right? This sounds like a logical solution, but goes against Sarah's contract. Well, no, it's not her job to do my job for me. Very specifically, it states she's not to do any part of my assigning task for me. This would fall under doing an assigned test for me. Well, it needs to get done, so figure it out. Okay, well, then I'll ask C to do it then, is that okay? No, I ask you to do it. Kill malicious compliance. Yes, sir. Sarah and I leave the office and she asked me how I plan on doing what he's asked. How are you going to pull this off? Just watch. I get back to my desk and start up Google Voice. I plug the microphone in the speaker and start playing the audio recording into the microphone and it starts typing what it heard. The transcript was indecipherable. After about two minutes, C walks in. Hey, what the hell's going on? What the hell? What is it? It's an audio recording and the boss asked me to transcribe. He said figure it out, so that's what I'm doing. See, if you're out there, please write up your pro revenge on this. Uh, okay. C leaves. Later I found out he went to HR. Don't know all the details, and Sarah couldn't tell me what was really being said since it was against her contract, and it's super serious and she's super professional. I finish it and upload it to X directory and email him it was done. Boss via email. See, I knew you could figure it out. Thanks. 20 minutes later, the boss come rushing out to my desk demanding to know what I did. Do you think it's funny? This complete gibberish? Referring to the Google Voice transcription. I did my best using the tools provided and the restrictions placed on me in regards of completing the task. Forget it. He storms off. He was right, it was complete gibberish. There were barely any words in there, let alone anything resembling English. Are you going to get in trouble for a deaf person to transcribe an audio recording all on my own? I think I did better than expected by any reasonable person. She smirked and patted me on the shoulder. If you guys want to know what happened or any more details, let me know and I'll try to find out. I still talk to Sarah, so I might be able to get some more details from her. Coworker if you're out there, the password is yellow five shrinks. If you weren't sure if this was me or not, add it. Sarah is not supposed to do my work for me. So while listening to the recording and trying to tell me what it said would work, it wouldn't be a transcription of the audio since there would be some stuff lost in translation. Since my boss instruction for the test was to transcribe the recording, my MC was to take it to me, that being part of the assigned work. Sarah's contract explicitly excludes her from performing any worker tasks assigned to clients. My boss was made to take a class by HR akin to sensitivity training and learn who Sarah is and what she can do and what she can't do. Also, that she wasn't paid by the company but by a third party. Sarah informed me that the recording was a conversation between co-worker and his wife that was personal. She didn't know much more than that. She assumed it was on the company recorded line, since all calls on the phones are recorded for QA. I haven't kept in contact with co-workers, so not sure if I'll ever know what happened on his end. Added to, I was not reprimanded. Boss and HR the next day apologized for the misunderstanding. The password's not a real password, but is in reference to an inside joke we shared among us. So it would be immediately known by co-worker if they ever saw this. This happened a few years ago, so dictation software was in its infancy, really compared to today. Hey guys, a couple of updates for you all. Um, first of all, I'm sorry for the last two days, I could not upload videos, I had some family issues to take care of. Second, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I'm trying some new styles, I'm doing some animation that I'm still working with, and it's because pretty much, like I said before, I listen to what people have been saying, comments, and be on YouTube or on Reddit and some people have commented that there are more visuals so I want to bring some visuals for you guys. My plan for now is to have at least once a week an animated series. Like I said, I'm still working on the animations. I'm trying to make it better every single day. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys want me to keep doing animations and bettering the animations every single video. Also, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Give me a thumbs up, it helps a lot the channel. Share the videos if you can. 
and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll try to actually upload another video today, probably not with animations, but for sure, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care.